Hello, welcome back to our channel. My name is Julie, otherwise known as Mrs. Frugal Trash to Cash. And this is my husband, Justin. He goes by Justin Average Picker on Instagram. And we are on our way to FlipCon. Currently, we are in West Virginia. Sorry for the shakiness. This road is incredibly bumpy. Um, FlipCon is like a reseller conference convention. Um, and it's happening in Charlotte, North Carolina. So we're home from FlipCon. Um, we had a great time. Um, I'm going to obviously bounce back and forth with clips from present day today, which is Sunday. No, it's Saturday. I have no idea what day of the week it is. I was just on vacation. It's, as you can see, I have some new friends here. Um, I won an Animan. If you're not familiar, this is Commonwealth Picker. It's, um, plush mascot like he says it's an enema and enema and it says we get things moving in your in your store like is the joke on it so he did a like question session where he asked a bunch of like hard questions like kind of like what his kids name are what like his wife's name is what his son's girlfriend's name is just all different like questions like that and um like how he ends each video and i got asked what one of his pet's name was. And I said, Sophie, and I got to pick a prize and I picked an Animan and I was so excited. And then later on in the day, um, I was so excited that ADHD Dave, who, you know, used to be NC Picker, this is his plush and it's a death pal support pig. And um, on the first full day of conferences and you know what are panels whatever discussion things just by chance out of 200 people guess who sat next to me dave so he, after um he sat next to me for the first like two panels and then he was on the third one so he went up and he had some pigs and he was giving them away and when he sat back down he was very kind and he gave me a pig to go with my enema so so excited these will get added into the ebay room um we had such a cool experience while we were at the um flip gone sorry tired people we were on the road for seven hours i haven't slept in my bed in like three or four nights but um the goodwill outlet in charlotte opened up an hour early only for the people attending FlipCon. so if you wanted to see what it's like to go to a goodwill bins with you know somewhere between i would guesstimate there was like 120 to maybe like 150. I don't think everybody came. Resellers at one tiny bins location. You ever wanted to know what it looked like? Here it is. So it was cool to be able to film. You know, we're not allowed to film at my bin location. That's why I don't ever do bins videos. So it was fun that we actually got to film and you can see everybody digging. And if you look in the background, I'm sure you'll see a lot of faces of people you'll recognize. Um, we had a good time. We got a few things. We went to the bins twice. We went the first day we got there just for like probably like a half an hour. 
And then we went for the um, one hour on um, Friday morning when it was like exclusive access to it. So I'll show you what all we got. All right, so we paid $1.79 plus tax and I think their tax was around 7%. So I'll quickly run through what we got. Um, I have no idea if this was even worth anything, but it's called um, Homage and it's like a brand new t-shirt that says just a kid from Akron, you know, Akron, Ohio. So apparently they make these for all different cities and states, but it was a bigger size and it was new with tags. Um, I got this sweet girls Kelvin Klein dress. It has like the pretty tool skirt and it was new with tags, a girl size seven, like with the denim top. Um, Justin found these jeans. I mean, not a brand I pick up normally, but they were 24 women's size, um, you know, plus size, not like 24 inch. And they were new with tags like black jeans. Um, I loved this shirt. It is an incredibly oversized, like boho, prairie, whatever you want to use, but it's Umji brand. Um, so cute, like top. Yeah. The reason why I say it's oversized, like look how big this is. And it's a size small. I'm like, okay. But yeah, just absolutely loved it. Um, Justin found this vintage, it's Angora, um, like sweater vest. It does have a little bit of like something crusty on the front, so I'll get it wiped off. Um, this is a Caribbean Joe, but it's like a women's pretty, like with kind of like a ruffle detail, um, sleeveless Hawaiian shirt. This brand was Blue Pepper, not a brand I'm familiar with, but I like the Aztec print. It, you know, Aztec things normally sell well, and it's like a really lightweight sweater. I grabbed these J Jill. Um, they're kind of like a cross between a dress pant and a denim pant, but they were a size 14, which is a great size. Sorry, I was making sure my microphone hadn't died on me. Um, in excellent condition. Justin found um, a pair of Lululemon, like, jogging shorts of course they're only a size six but they still had the rip tag in them so that's always exciting because most of the time that's taken out he also found this all over print shirt i literally i don't even know what it was but it looked cool so i threw it in the cart of stuff to get this is just a basic jam collection women's 2x like three quarter sleeve shirt but i like um animal prints especially in plus size we got this, what's the brand? I, wait, is it eyelash? Oh, eyeshadow clothing. The brand meant nothing to me, but it was new with tags. And it was um, like an embroidered plus size, like top with like flare sleeves, almost like baby doll boho style. This I just grabbed because it felt interesting to me. Um, you'll see in one of the clips, I'm actually looking at it at the bins but it's kind of like a shawl scarf whatever you want to call it but it's from france i mean it's only acrylic but i just thought it was interesting it has like the reverse pattern on the back side of it justin found this sweater chic and cozy is the brand oh wait no by love tree sorry that must be just the style but it kind of has like puff bishop sleeves um you can't probably tell on camera but it's sparkly um, turtleneck. So since it was new with tags, I figured we'd take a chance on it. I found this nice, like quality, thick material, Kelvin Klein, um, sweater. It has like faux leather, like striping details on the front and the back and like a tie belt. This was cool. It's plus size. The brand is Andre by unit. Didn't mean anything to me, but it reminded me, I just sold a like destroyed a free people sweater and it has the same like all cut up to made to look destroyed hem but it had lips all over it i just thought it was so cute and i love the fact that it was a 2x um you know it would not be a bins trip or any thrifting trip without some chico so here's just a sheer um like roll tab sleeve chico's blouse and there was oh where's the other chico's piece i don't know oh i left it over there I dropped it on the floor. Um, this is a man, men's buckle black. I wouldn't always pick this brand up, but it had some nice embroidery on it and it's a men's size XXL. So I mainly got it because of the size. 
thank you. My lovely assistant brought me. This is a Chico's Travelers. I hate that it's a size zero. I only grabbed it because the Travelers line does do well. And it kind of had a cool asymmetrical hem with studding. So I decided it was worth picking up. And then the last thing is this gorgeous dress. The brand is Dallin, I guess is how you say it. Didn't mean anything to me. So it has, sorry, there's fuzzies on the front of it. It's not stains, it's fuzzy. It has like this like form-fitting stretchy top. But then when you get to the bottom, it's kind of like layered um, skirt that's kind of sewn up in spots to give it fullness. I just thought it was so pretty. So I decided to give it a try. Oh, Justin's handed me receipts. So the first day we went, we spent $9.41. And the second day we went, we spent $18 with tax. Oh, I think we rounded up. So I don't know what it was beforehand. So all of that stuff was bought for less than $30. So not bad for a very, very quick trip to the bins. So next up, I'll show you a few pictures from 80s night, the last night of FlipCon, like the closing dinner and party was 80s themed. So um, Justin wore his dad's, literally they wore his dad's jean shorts, um, like dad shorts and um, a Scooby-Doo shirt since, you know, that was on in the 80s. And I found like a vintage with like shoulder pads up to here, um, dress at a thrift store. Um, so, you know, but everybody looked crazy good that night. There was so much like neon and I love the 80s shirts and stuff. So it was a fun time. So I will show you a little bit from the 80s night. Hello, welcome to my bathroom at FlipCon. So I thought I would give you a little before and after. Tonight is an 80s theme. I was born the very end of 1978. So when the 80s started, I guess I was like one. And so when the 80s ended, I was like 10-ish. Um, so I didn't get to do as much of the big hair in the 80s, but we're gonna make up for it tonight. So here's the before. I had flat ironed my hair yesterday, so it's pretty straight. And then you'll see how 80s I can get it shortly. I bought banana clips, people. Did you know they still sell banana clips? All right, transformation complete. I didn't really bring the right curling iron. So it was hard on the bangs, but I have a banana clip in. I made my hair curly. Here's my very, I mean, I have like two inches of shoulder pads and my cute little purse, Justin found me. We'll take pictures together when we get down to the party. So I thought I'd just give you our thoughts on FlipCon. We'll see if we can get Justin to say anything about it. Um, we are both, both introverts. I know you might think, you have a YouTube channel. You talk on it. But I'm talking to a camera. That's different than going into a group where there's 200 people. And most of them I only know from my TV screen. So, I mean, it was definitely hard for us. We definitely got burned out after a while. It was like people overload. Um, but we had a really good time. Um, our point of going to it kind of was just, we wanted to meet the people, you know, that did the same stuff as us. It was fun to see what everyone sold. People were most surprised by Justin selling weights because that's just not something that I guess you come across very often. But, um, you know, I, I got asked, you know, what I learned from it. And I was like, I, I didn't really come to learn anything. I kind of came, you know, just to hang out with people. It's so nice to like not have to explain what you do to a live for a living to someone. Um, Justin definitely got something out of it. He went to a, um, they had like breakout sessions where you could choose where you wanted to go to. And he went to one about short form. Uh, what is that Contact. called? Thank you. I was like commentary. No short form content and it intrigued him. So you're gonna so i might them. try to do some things on TikTok. it was uh just interesting to hear the opportunities there to you know create content and i guess it's uh an easier way to get things out there so. i will not be doing TikTok. <laughs> i'm too old for TikTok. i 
that's what he was like are you even you probably won't even put the app on your phone and i'm like yeah probably not sorry that's another reason why i might do it ah because you want to be separate? it's just the more general from me? general stuff like uh you know exercise stuff and even some reselling and not necessarily just like a reselling TikTok. So if you get the TikTok up and running, we'll let you know what it is for any of you out there that are not old fogies like me that want to TikTok. But I will not be TikToking. Um, so yeah, we had a good time overall. We met some like really great people. I mean, I got to hang out and talk to Back From Burnout, who I absolutely love. I mean, like, and we're not talking like five minute conversations with these people. We're talking like long conversations. We got to hang out with American Arbitrage Carey. He sat like across from us just hanging out in the lobby for like a half an hour and just discuss stuff. Like, I got to sit next to ADHD Dave, like, and talk about his cooking channel because, you know, we are former bakers. And so I got to razz him about his cooking channel and how he needs to get rubber scrapers and do things a little better. Oh, yes. And also, if you like to watch amusing, funny cooking channels, go check out the world's best recipes. Um, if you go to ADHD Dave's um, like Instagram page or even his YouTube page, there's links to his cooking channel. It's really good. It's his passion project. And we just find it amusing. He's just a really funny guy. Um, but yes, I so those were like, the big name people that, you know, we talked to, but then we just hung out like with Christy from, um, dude, am I going to say it wrong? Mom's Closet. Yes. She just switched her name around. So I might be saying it wrong and I'm so sorry, Christy, but mom's closet, Texas. Like I've been talking to her on Instagram for years and I got to like meet her. Um, so non, what is it? Nonsensical something. Tatum is her name. We got to hang out with her. I met Annette. Um, just so many people that I sat down to that I can't even remember anyone's names. Um, the women from, what is the called? The consignment, consignment chat. I do believe they have a podcast. So, so nice. I mean, I'm sure I'm forgetting so many people and I'm sorry, but yeah, it, we had a really good time, but it's just a little harder for those of us that aren't that good at socializing. And I feel like we got worse at it because we spend so much time in our basement uh, alone. But, you know, it was fun. I mean, this is the first time Justin and I have, like, left our daughter Brooklyn for this long of a time. Um, she ran the house by herself, and she did an excellent job and had a good time. So I think she's going to kick us out more. So maybe we can go on more road trips, which is really exciting. Um, I'm sorry I didn't put out a Thursday video. Like, we had traveled to FlipCon on Wednesday and I just could not get it together in time. Um, our sales were really slow while we were gone because I did not list while we were gone. I was kind of, you know, partied for a couple of days and didn't really uh, take care of my business very well, but we're back and I'll be hitting it strong and uh, hopefully we'll make up for it. And maybe this weekend, oh wait, maybe it was already Saturday. Now I thought it was Friday. I, I don't know what day of the weekend is people. <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow we'll have some really strong sales is what I'm trying to say because I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, Josh and Haley just did such a great job of running the event. Um, I can't say enough about how hard they worked. We got amazing like goodie bags with such good stuff in it. And I just watched Haley go around and literally like check on people to make sure they were having a good time. Like there was a woman that came specifically to meet like one person and Haley made sure it happened. She went and got the person and had them like sit down and talk. She is just such a sweetheart and worked so hard on it. And a lot of you have probably heard that they weren't going to do it next year. And Josh and Haley aren't, but they sold the FlipCon name to, I do believe it was the same person that runs the group that runs the Boss Reseller Remix. So it seems like she said she's going to try to get one next year on this coast. So if you didn't get to go this year... Maybe you'll want to go next year. I feel like if you're a brand new reseller, you definitely can get like a lot out of it. Um, or maybe you're someone like us that just kind of wanted to go and hang out with other freaks that are resellers <laughs> that are used to, um, you know, being yelled at for being resellers and looked at weirdly and stuff. So, um, you know, it was just a good time overall. So thank you so very much for watching. We'll be back this week with our normal content. If you're new here, 
please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, leave a nice comment. Notice I said nice. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye.